Hey boys and girls, we're going out to do some camping in the cold. <laughs> Hence the t-shirt, because when you're moving along you don't want to be wearing loads of thick stuff, you're going to sweat like a pig. And uh, can you see in the background? Look. Yo. Hello. <laughs> Everything's going to be cool today. Any problems, we got a Jedi, so everything's fine <laughs> what could possibly go wrong nothing right dude let's get set up back soon right it's coffee time we all want coffee don't we and i don't want to be leaving it too late for me coffee fix because uh i won't be getting much sleep tonight if i if i did so we've got a fire dragon on a goat and um simon assures me there's enough fuel there to make a nice cup of coffee so we're gonna we're gonna see how we got on We've got the airs bit there full up, ready. I think what I'll do is I'll get her on there. Make sure, yep, yeah, everything's going to fit. Let me just use a lighter. Nice and simple. Fail safe, innit? Thing for you, it's nothing major, oh, but um, I've got two of them, so why not give one away? Lose my uh, name and address on there, you can have a read on it. Oh, nice one, one of those as well. A little something of oh, mate. Oh, thank you very much. I never possible pelt. <laughs> oh, I'm always up for uh, a few goodies in there. Pouches, let's have a, I'll have a look at that in just a second. Yeah, Let we'll me just do. get the old coffee in. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bought you a little saint as well. Oh no! Um, <laughs> but this this is just like a little trial um, prototype style thing. Uh, I'll get that out in a minute. Little time, isn't it? Wow, sounds interesting. I'll give you that in a minute, and a uh, and a little something as well from from another one of these companies that send you stuff. <laughs> kind of thing. Oh no, all too well, mate. We thought we'd just get this um, done now because if you don't know, if you don't sort of do videos out in the woods, when it starts to get a bit dark, all of a sudden it is dark. And filming in the dark's a bit of a nightmare, so but we get this done now, and uh, yeah. that's where we're going to be, really. Let's have a look at this. Uh... Cheers, mate. That's all very right, kind mate. of you. No you problem at all, mate. No, no, no. You know, as I said, I've got so much kit. <laughs> it's too, too much for me. I haven't got enough. <laughs> Anybody that's watching, I haven't, I haven't got him on camera just uh, quite right there. Where's, what's that from then? What, what is it? That is a mine what, what clearing kit. A mine clearing kit? Yeah. No way. So I just, I was in the shed this morning thinking, I'll just give you the pouch and I thought, what can I put in there? There's nothing there. It's all in there. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, but no, it's, it's, it's good to it's sort all of feel. Sorts, yeah, the thing with pouches like that is first aid, fire pits, all sorts of things. That is, uh, that is right, Andy. That, oh, a nice one. Proper mine <sighs> kit. And I'll tell you what, if there's one thing that you should always have when you do stuff like this, is have a my stick. Oh, look at this. You can get them soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> Pick a little Tabasco, homie. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Yeah, because uh, I've, got, I've got a little pouch that um, I've got me a uh, other fire kit in it. Lock and load. <laughs> it sounded like it, didn't it? Flint and steel type thing. What's in there, a very important um, piece of firelighting equipment in there. Do you um, recall hearing of a guy called um, Bug Out Bushbrass? Yeah. I think he goes by the name of Jezza. Oh, Bob. <laughs> 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 oh, I had to throw it in here, Bob. Uh, actually, uh, I've what, passed what on I've the said before, the chalice. <laughs> a very underrated method of firelighting. <laughs> a strike anywhere match. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, as long as they're not damp. <laughs> no, yeah, I think everybody should keep some matches around. Yeah, I just and, thought it was uh, a bit of a comedy to go in there because after Darren's cooking tonight 
an essential plugging device. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably what it's going to sound like. I don't know about that. With all the shooting <laughs> going on, that's for bullet holes later on, mate. That, really. <laughs> oh, no. With all the shooting going on, I might need that for something else. Plug bullet holes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Little candle. Lovely jubbly. You're going to be severely. Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't want to just give an empty pouch, so I we'll just went through my. No, so I don't expect anything. Uh, stuffed a few things in. When we. Uh, with, with your celebrity status now, oh, just, man. just your time. <laughs> I know celebrity. Just your time is is just amazing. Well, you start oh, you stuck one of there. those in there? Yeah, you got. A oh, fire look at there. that a fire dragon block. Pretty rare at the moment. It's yeah. Really on general release at Christmas time, so. Oh, wonderful! I know that's great. I can at least have a little go on those and yeah. sort of figure out how that works. Chop them up in bits or go the whole hog, whatever you yeah. want. It's yours now, mate. So yeah, and it's molly, so you can like stick it on packs and whatnot. Oh, well, nice one. Starting to get dark, baby. Nice one. Thank you very much, sir. It's very kind of you. No problem Cheers. at all, Paul. Didn't have to do Brilliant. that. No worries, mate. Okay. So I'll, uh, we'll, we'll catch it on video a little bit later when I dig out a yeah, yeah, yeah. little something that I bought for Darren. Hmm. <laughs> what we got here then? Oh, more, more for me to spend my money on. Well, you know it is. <laughs> you can often read Bedtime weird reading. newspapers or you can get some 511 catalogues. Yeah. No pun, but. <laughs> Yeah, we've got two, so you know, what we'll do, throw one away? No, I'm going to give I've, it to I've, you. Like I've always had a little look at these, uh, this brand, but I've never bought anything that they've oh, that they've produced. Yeah, I've got a few 511 things, like the knife and the Rust 12. Rust Have they got all that in there as well? Yeah, I think it's all in there, mate. Shirts, jackets. It's really yeah. tough wearing stuff. It sort of, uh, it's like a posh Maxpedition, as it were. <laughs> so you rate it above Maxpedition? Big time, yeah. Do you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll have to have a little look yeah. at that. I don't see many special forces um, deployment companies around the world using some expedition. They're all using this or um, Hakes is another one. And what's the other company I've done? Well, I'm uh, on the flashlights. I'm just testing out a bit of gear, which I was going to bring down, but I thought, no, I won't do it because we haven't got a lot of time. Hmm. But it's from Vanquest. Oh, yeah, Scott's done some Vanquest. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, but I've got the, um, the, the big uh, uh, V-Slinger. Ooh. Like pack about that big. Yeah, it yeah. looks like the 511 Rush yeah. sort of thing. I'll have right. to show you that another time. But cheers, people. <laughs> right, what we've gone and done is um, um, I'm going to try out um, an upside down fire. Um, so basically, all you do is you just clear the decks, nice and level if you can. Keep some sort of surround around the fire. These um, four rotten logs are great. They're nice and damp, so the fire's not going to spread. Because we've got some, lots of dry leaf all there, and you just never know. Um, yep, yeah, starting thick at the bottom, um, all in layers, gradually getting smaller as you can see. I've got a dry bird's nest on the top. And um, what I'm going to try out is uh, what I tried with Scott um, when we had those um, fire dragons. So I'm just going to drop one into the top, whack a few sparks in it, or use the lighter, and it should just um, turn into lava and just flow down and catch. And we pretty much should have a fail-safe fire for a good six hours, at least, until we decide to go to sleep and just leave it. Um, we could stay up all night and keep it going, of course we could, but, you know, we all need to sleep. So that's going to be our um, fire to keep warm, because it's going to drop tonight. Um, I think it's going to go down to um, plus three or four Celsius. So, um, you know, we've got some warm clothing and this fire is going to be more than enough to keep us nice and warm. So, yeah, we're going to be having um, lots of nice food cooked over this tonight and uh, some hot drinks as well. Because uh, you really do need to make sure you've got some hot food inside you before you go to bed uh, when it's going to get cold. Um, food is better than drinks before you go to sleep. Unless you like waking up every hour to go for a pee. <laughs> So try and get your drinks done early on in the evening rather than leave them until late at night and get loads of food down here before you go to sleep. And you know, your core cool body temperature should be just fine. Right, I don't know if this is picking much up, but I'm guessing everything that's um, in light can be seen. Be very careful when you open these, by the way, because um, I don't think these have um, been finished. You feel me? Yeah, regarding the, um, the lid on these. So we just remove the lid and we're just going to plop the little baby in the top there. And they're very, very, um, shall we say, um, alcoholic. 
So if you do have any cuts on you, that is going to hurt like a bitch. So hopefully, there we go. There's Darren getting the uh, fire dragon going. We've got we've got like an upside down type fire going there. We'll see how that uh, keeps us going. We've got some nice, a few, uh, a few bigger logs. Plenty of firewood stashed by. Darren does like his bonfires. Sure do. <laughs> We're surrounded by wood. I want to burn some. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully the idea behind this, as I said earlier, um, this should just um, exude, I think is the correct term, all the way through different stages of uh, dry wood. Pretty much. Oh, being a fire dragon, it's just going to set the whole lot of light right away. You can see it just going down here. That's what I'm looking at. It's incredible, yeah. isn't it? I'm going to take the light off and just see what... Wow, how beautiful is that? Yeah. No, um... I'll try and zoom in, guys, and just to show you... It's actually falling down like a, a gel um, fire which is spreading all underneath it which is exactly what I was hoping it would do and it's just going to transfer that is just one fire dragon on there can you believe that and let's have a look at it yep that one block is probably about 15% um, consumed already so we've got plenty of time with that I mean, we all saw what happened when I used that Swedish fire torch, which was a little bit damp, shall we say. This is nice and dry, so I don't think we've got any problems with this. I'm very impressed with how, uh, how well it goes up, I must admit. Yeah, and if it's peeing in the rain, mate, well, you see, it's... Uh... I, d I saw your video on it. <laughs> it was mad. Yeah, well, I commented, didn't I, saying I was a bit disappointed with the, uh, <laughs> the lame excuse for a test that you did on that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted well, to know. really make sure that it, it was... Uh, it's going to be good. Thing is, though, guys are going to want stuff like that in like real proper bad conditions, and it's no good, you know, someone well, saying, you know, Oh, when it's military, uh, military yeah. design like that is, you want to see it working, don't you? Then, you know, the application for us being out here is uh, wow, look at that, it's like a <laughs> that's right, yeah, you do want to close, you know, in all conditions, it's going quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. We've probably got about two and a half to three feet um, square, really, of a fire pit there. I'm getting some bigger stuff on there, just so when uh, when the coals do form on some of this bigger stuff, yeah, that's perfect. They're mate. also going to drop down. How cool is that? Wicked. Right, we're going to um, see what it's like to boil up. It's probably about half full, and I've just got myself one of these um, heavy covers. I am an arm for a long time, but I thought sod it as you do. Hopefully that's not too precarious, and we're going to see how she performs with a lid on. Yep, look at that. We've got a boil. That lid actually works. Oh, you can see that there. Pretty much a success. Nice one. Time for some loop the loop. Enough said, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Enough said, mate. It says it all. <laughs> 